October 31st, 2009, uh, Chris Chan recorded a video for Casey's parents. Now, if you don't know about the Casey story, it's a, uh, you know, it's one of those one of those trolls who was going at Chris, you know, convincing him that she was a uh, a girl who wanted to be his sweetheart at times. Now, this was the video that Chris Chan sent to her parents, right? So to the troll's parents. Um, and we're reviewing it today, okay? If you haven't seen this, you're in for a real treat. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I haven't seen it myself. I was reading a bit of the backstory here on the quickie, and I saw that the story itself is interesting. I mean, he sent this video to her parents in order to present himself as a decent human being. Uh, it says he makes many false statements about himself and shows that he's blatantly unaware of his own failures, shortcomings, and serious anger management issues. He also appears satisfied with his recent video demonstration that he cannot do push-ups. Uh, a whole new world from Disney's Aladdin plays throughout, left over from his previous video, which was directed to Casey. So today we're going to go in here and we're going to check this video out. We're going to see what Chris Tran was saying to Casey's parents, alright? If you're ready to rock and roll, let me know by hitting the thumbs up, and we're starting right now. Okay, let's, let's begin here. Let's do this. Uh, good day, Mr. and Mrs. D, Casey's parents. How are you today? I wonder if he was nervous. I'm good. I'm okay. But anyway, I am making this video directed to, yeah, directed to you both. You know, I'm definitely better than the uh, previous uh, Chris that uh, y'all got to know. Th that song in the background, that is the Aladdin, uh, A Whole New World. I wonder if Christian put that on because it's such a beautiful love song, you know? Aww, that's that's cute, man. That's adorable. No homo, bruh. Skr, skr. But when you're putting that a whole new world on, because you know how like romantic it is, and that's what you're trying to do in the video. God, but but the thing is, she didn't even exist. Oh, that hurts. Ouch. He recently went a little crazy. He recently went crazy and all that. But but this is not that. This is not about him. This is about me. I am 27 years old. I stand a good 5 foot 10 inches. I am very strong. Matter of fact, I just did 30 push ups, which you can see in a recent video on this same YouTube account. Mm. Now, apparently, that video they said in the backstory, they said he could not actually do the 30 push ups, you know. Now, 30 push ups is good, man. If you can do 30 push ups, that's good, baby. Uh, I wonder how many Chris Chan could do at that point. Also, he said he's 27, you know. It's interesting seeing Chris Chan knowing that there was 27. Because that was a younger Chan, baby. This was from 2009, so it's 10 years ago. 10 years ago. Man, this is the lore, baby. I feel like I am honest, loyal, and reliable. I like to, I prefer to uh, keep a soft-spoken tone of voice. Yeah, yeah. But when, but when I have to, I can be uh, argumentative and, uh, and such. I like to put, I like to keep things in long thoughts, you know. Now, Chris Chan said right there that he said, I'm honest, loyal, you know. Uh, I know some folks would probably disagree with that, but uh, how come? Uh, I'm sure there's been examples and stuff throughout, you know, Chris' story and all that. But uh, can you think of anything off the top of your head that would be, you know, that would prove that wrong? If so, let me know in the comments, because right now I can't think of anything, you know. Then again, there's a lot of this that I don't actually know about. Kind of learning a lot of it as we go along the journey, but um, yeah. Let me know. Let me know if there's anything that, you know, disproves that. Right. It takes, sometimes it takes me a while to think about things, but like, you know, if it doesn't take much thought, or uh, if I can come up with a decision right away, then quick as a quick as a quick like that. I mean, like, yeah, like, you know. Here's something else to keep in mind. As Chris Chan at this point had never really had a significant other, right? So therefore, Christian had never had that experience of meeting your significant other's parents, right? And that can be a that can be a stressful situation. All right, it can be difficult, man, because you're like, you know, it's like, you know, I'm 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 boning your daughter, man, and we're we're supposed to we're supposed to become knowing each other. Yeah. You know, it definitely took a while. You know, I began to know Casey to realize that I that I loved her, that I care about her very much, and I love her. But anyway, I feel like I am a good boyfriend material. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, because of my honest, my honesty and reliability, and, be, and my loyalty. So, with, so hopefully with your consent, uh, y'all will allow me to uh, get be closer to your daughter in communication and in, you know, location. 
That's nice. He asked for the consent. He said, can I have your consent to get closer to your daughter? That's nice, you know? You don't really see much of that thing anymore. Yeah, yeah, asking for that consent. That's a sign of respect, isn't it? Beautiful stuff. I think Christian can be very respectful, you know? And of course, at other times, not so much. But that's nice, though. Would you let Christian date your daughter if you had a daughter? Let me know in the comments, you know? Uh, you might say I'm crazy here. You might say I'm crazy, but if I had a daughter, you know... Uh, and a guy like Chris Chan came along and wanted to date her, you know? Um, okay, let me not, let me not, let's just keep going. She and I have already met in person, as she can tell you herself. Oh. About her first impressions of, of me and, uh, as well as second impressions, because we met a second time as well. Mm. Nice. Mm. Anyway, oh, yeah. it was a, anyway, uh, I, anyway, when the time comes, I look forward to meeting you both. Mm. So I bid y'all... A safe and pleasant day. Nice. Thank you. Nice. Yeah, that's pretty nice, man. I tell you, that was a nice intro. Very nice. You know, I'm sure her parents would have liked that. That's that's nice. That's really nice, man. This touched my heart, man. Hey, you hit that thumbs up, all right? You hit that thumbs up, and and I'll see you tonight, every night, 8 p.m. Central. We'll hang out. We'll have a great time on the live stream, all right? Watch this video that just popped up. Watch that one next. You'll love it, okay? You'll love it. Watch it. Click it. Why are you still here? You should have clicked it.